What's up guys, so welcome back to some your boy Gadam Slink. How are you guys doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. So, Very Dark Mass released yet another audio, audio part two, and they called it Evidence Part Two. And he said that uh, Bobrisky Game Mind involved San, involved the correctional and EFCC and so many other allegations as well. So, are you guys ready to listen to the audio? Please, I want you guys to have an open mind as you listen to the audio. Drop your emotions down and uh, think critically concerning the audio so that you too will learn and we all will all learn. Don't be emotional when it comes to the audio. And uh, this is a long road to fight for true democracy in this country, you know, holding people accountable for their wrongdoings. So, without further explanation, you know, we're going to listen to the audio first before going deep into the conversation. And uh, all these footages was released by a very dark man himself. The audio was released by a very dark man himself. He is the custodian of uh, the strong evidence and uh, the frontliner of this whole issue. So let's listen to him, guys. Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello, hi. Bob, how you doing? I'm okay. Oh. You know, are you out yet? I'm not out yet. Oh my god. Okay, so quick, but I don't have enough time because, you know, mm. I just had to, I can't really, I don't, the reason why I'm even trying to talk to you about this is because obviously I've not been talking to anybody, I've not been, mm. people have been sending me so much messages about how they responding because I don't want anybody to know I have my phone. Yeah. So I don't, I don't want to talk to somebody that I know that uh, I can trust, just, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, you knew, you knew what happened to me, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. before the EFC, they, of course, they were, investi they were investigating me, mm -hmm. you know, about the cars, money, and everything, all this while. So, I knew one day, one day, they would come for me like this mm -hmm. because of the noise and all that. But it's, it's fine. So, when they were investigating me, they blocked my account, they freezed my account. Obviously, they don't want me to do any transaction on it while they're doing the. Mm -hmm. their, ongoing investigation mm. so but i'm so glad that they did not at first they had the money laundry charges in yeah. their in their charge because of the money they saw in my accounts and all the money that passed through my accounts at least they were able, so they just saw so money share but were able to beg them mm. and give them some money so they can drop the money laundry charges because mm. I can't be facing money laundry charges. Go for it, mm. you know. Spraying of money. I don't say that one. I they just they're trying. They're looking for something to just hold me. They yeah. just eat that. Mm. It's not like I'm the only one that spread money. Yeah. There are a lot of people spraying money out there. <sighs> Killing me. But you choose. You want to uh, convince me because mm. of spraying money, and um, that's very weird. Mm. But you know, me, I'm strong and I'm ready for anything that comes my way because I don't know. I don't know. No, obviously, I knew the old NV8, the ATAR, Shina Oliam, Shina Oliam. I knew one day, one day to get to this, you know. But, and but, another thing that made me happy was the fact that they did a proper investigation on me and they noticed that I am not into money laundry mm. and I'm not into fraud. Yeah. Every money, the cars, they came to my house, they carried my car now. They carried my car, they carried everything, you know, because what they, they, they thought coming to me, they will see people I do business with, so, WhatsApp or an email. But it's also that they were not able to find any, any of such. My money is legit. I keep saying this thing, but people don't believe. They keep, they think I'm into fraud or I'm into picking money for politicians or whatever. But they run a proper checkup and they couldn't even find any of that on me. All the money I all the money I have are genuine and the sources are are like most of my influences, you know. Like that that day I called the old man wants to pay me ten thousand pounds. And I think that it's for it's for influencing. 
So, you know, like, people they, they don't know how I charge, I charge a lot of money for influencing. They don't know, you know. So, but I made them to understand that I charge as far as $100,000 to influence. So, if you think you cannot do it, all fingers are equal. People, some other people do it, and trust me, God bless, God bless the also. Mm. So, you know, they did all that, and obviously, I met a very terrible judge. The judge wasn't coming. The judge wasn't there as well. Come in, come in. He's not there. Okay, can you excuse me? I'm on the phone. Yeah. So. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Where are you like this? Um. Um. Church people, I don't lie to you. You're my person. Mm. I'm not in prison, but I'm around there. They go in my apartment, okay. you know, because of my court father. Mm. My court, my court father was able to tell never you will not smell that prison. Let the world think you are dead, but you will never, mm. you know. So we're able to talk to the deputy um, controller in Nigeria, and he said that in as much as Bob is not, Bob is not, they only have a problem with Bob. If Bob is not posting anything, Bob is not saying anything, Bob is not doing anything, that they can put me close to the place. So I can always come inside and see people as I see. I'm welcoming my family. Yeah. That nobody needs to know, to understand. So, you know, I have, so I'm, I'm just close, I'm close to the premises, but I'm not in that because you know, they are all scared of, why do, why do we want to put you in a male facility where, you know, they are scared of um, harassment and everything. So, so, but nobody knows this information, it's just you. Okay. So, yeah, that's a, that's that aside. Then, secondly, uh, my, my co father has done a lot. That's why I don't want to call it for any more requests. Because putting me out here alone in this apartment, I am well furnished apartment alone is, is something. He paid a whole lot. So my lawyer called me and said, so if they are try he got me a son. My godfather got me a new son. So mm -hmm. now we are trying to get the pardon from the federal. Yeah. Well, guys, well, guys. So like I've said before, do not be emotional. Drop your emotions aside and let us think critically. If VDM has release all the audios eh? the first and the second audio i believe there's a third audio as well because the conversation is not yet over then i would have properly known exactly what to say because now i'm having another thing you know me and no lie you know you know the first audio was just straightforward you know it was very straightforward and uh, according to the first audio but briskly to me absolutely guilty Absolutely guilty. Now he get the audio. Now him. Now him. But this second audio to me is contradicting. Me, I know lie you now. I'm going to explain why I say it's contradicting. Hmm? I don't want to talk based on emotions. But Brisky said he gave 15 million naira to EFCC because of money laundry charges. In the same vein, Bob Brisky said that EFCC did a thorough investigation. That one thing she is happy about, or he, she, or she is happy about, is that EFCC did a thorough investigation and found nothing on 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 him. That they thought he was he had a client that is transferring money to helping to the uh, to uh, to to loan that money that they found absolutely nothing on him. That was what is making him happy. But if you check, they say he gave 15 million naira. If they did an investigation and found nothing on you, then how come you are giving 15 million naira again? Imagine it, guys. Meanwhile, EFCC came out to say, they did a thorough investigation. There are documents to prove that they did a thorough investigation and found nothing on Bob Risky. They found nothing on Bob Risky. They closed the case. 
and Bobrisky is saying that he gave 15 million naira. At the same Bobrisky mouth is equally saying on that audio that EFCC found nothing on her. They did a thorough investigation. So that is a contradicting statement in that one audio. And Bobrisky lawyer will argue that. We argue that. Then another vein is that. Even if that audio is not fake, me, I because I do not know how AI works, I know how AI works, so I can say that audio is real, though. the audio is real. But as in the same vein, I'm taking that possibility of that it might be a setup. But Brisky said that it was not. They rented an apartment. Hmm? They rented an apartment because it's this special person. Is this special uh, image who need not to be put in inside the prison? And Bobrisi also said that because the correctional officer do not want anybody to notice that the apartment was closed to the prison so that she can easily walk in inside the prison to see the family members who come to visit and also walk out of the prison. So the family members weren't aware that Bob Risky was not in the prison, was in an apartment. And then the correctional officer said that there are special inmates that need special attention and they are placed in a very special cell. So they need to expatiate for us to know is that cell within the facility or outside an apartment outside the facility an apartment outside the facility they need to expatiate and very dark man has a long way to prove this audio is real when it comes to the sun issue the sun another sun has been mentioned now another sun has been mentioned now before the audio accused that Bob Risky reached out to Fast and Fast reached out to his father to assist Bob Risky. Now, Bob Risky in that audio is saying his godfather got her another son. A son. Another son. So we are now having two sons on that audio. Those are also contrary contradicting statement as well. Further damaging the cred credibility of that audio. Now, if you are looking for evidence, if you are looking for video evidence or human evidence, Bobrisky family, friends who came to visit Bobrisky, we prove that Bobrisky was in jail. Because Bobrisky already said that she was close so that she can easily see family and friends who come to visit. That is to say, Jess Brown, who said he came there to visit Bob Risky. Jess Brown, no lie. He just that Jess Brown don't know what did happen. That is if Bob Risky was really placed in, inside an apartment, outside the premises. So from the correctional officer side, they have proof to prove that Bob Risky was in cell. Tell me how they go to even say they know it will get proof. See, the only the way I'm saying this thing, oh, very dark man will get social media justice. Hmm? Social media justice. But when it comes to court, eh, very dark man will win. And I pray you should be ready. To go down for it. I'm not saying very dark man they lie, but be realistic. Forget emotions. Drop emotions aside. Look at evidence. Correctional officers say we never burn down their institution because of very dark man or brisky. We know that there are many. I do not know, but in your mind, you know, there are many people who are also enjoying the benefit of very dark man now. They have money. EFCC also, eh? 
I cannot tell, oh, but allegedly, eh, because of the system, you know, billions, now they take a bribe for there. So because of 15 million naira, make EFCC burn down their institution. They already written report and they dispute that audio. They brought evidence and court local evidence. And correctional officers, most definitely they will get video proof of Bob Brisky inside the premises. Even though there is no video proof, they will call inmates to testify. See, they see Bob Brisky. After all, the family member can already tell the friends who came there can already testify. They came there to visit Bob Brisky. Record will show. That so 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 person came to visit Pobrisky so 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 time. So so person came to visit Pobrisky so 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 time. So so time, so 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 time. All those things are evidence. The only evidence, but uh, very dark my ass, eh, is the audio. And they said, is AI generated audio? Very dark man, we have to prove that audio is not AI generated audio. That is to, by going as far as revealing the whistleblower. Because very dark man is not the whistleblower. Please, let us get it straight. Very dark man is not the whistleblower. The whistleblower is somebody who sent very dark man that audio. Very dark man is the front runner. The person who is making the accusations. So very dark man does, does not have the, the protection of a whistleblower. The only person who has that protection of a whistleblower is that man who released, who is the original person who released that audio. A whistleblower, you know they see a face. You know they see whistleblower face. He's being protected. Very dark man is a content creator, an activist, who is fronting the accusation. So, there are two different things. So, if they want to cut pound of flesh, they are going to cut that of very dark man. Very dark man will have to protect the whistleblower. If the matter gets too worse, very dark man will have to call the whistleblower to come and testify. If the whistleblower refuses to come to testify, then they have to prove that, video, that audio is not AI generated. By going as far as another country to do a forensic investigation and bringing somebody from down from there to come and testify. After all, Nigeria will not trust Nigeria to carry out a real audit, a real audit on an audio. We you know what they did with Octocina. Octos is glitch for the very first time. Couldn't tell what killed somebody that died less than a year in Niger. In that kind of and just see when it comes to emotions, eh, very dark man won. Hands down. But when it comes to realistic, uh, realistic behavior, reality, going to court. Court deals with evidence. Except there are correctional officers willing to testify on behalf of Very Dark Man. Except there's an officer from the EFCC willing to testify on behalf of Very Dark Man. Except there's a son willing to testify on behalf of Very Dark Man. Tell me how you feel, say. Instead of anybody to start commenting any hour, tell me how do you feel very dark man will win the case if they go to court? Tell me. Just enlighten me because I'm open for, to enlighten me. To all the lawyers there, enlighten me. Because I've already contacted, I've contacted my lawyer even when this whole matter started. I've contacted my lawyer. My lawyer, in my, in my, my friend in the USA, say, see, see, those, that case, even though in the USA, eh, that case, no, they fly. There's no enough evidence. It's an audio. It's simple. It's simply as an audio. There is no enough evidence. You know, go see fly. So, that audio is contradicting. And I believe Bob Riskin and his people are just waiting for the perfect time. Make very dark man release all his, all his, uh, 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 all his arsenal. So, so they will come, come back, come knock very dark man with lawsuit. After all, Bob Brisky don't knock a lawsuit. So if they wait, make very dark man release everything. If you able to check with the very dark man talks, a very dark man said he's ready to go to jail. He knows, he knows, he know. He know. He know a lawyer don't brief him. 
That is why when Very Dark Man want to start this audio, go and check the original audio from Very Dark Man page. He said, allegedly, he no fair use allegedly for the first tape. This time he said, allegedly, he said, don't know. Say, see, oh, I'm not supposed to they thought, say, this and that, this and that, just straight up like that. Allegedly. But then again, it's too late. Very dark man is not the whistleblower. The whistleblower is the person original, the original person who released that uh, audio to very dark man. That's so a whistleblower, as you do not know them. They don't show their, their face. They don't gain from whistleblowing on the internet. They are being paid secretly. You know, they know the amount. The lawyer, but briskly lawyer can, can say it that very dark man made millions from tarnishing my image. And YouTube, they pay him. Twitter, they pay him. TikTok, they pay him. I'm just telling you how it is, guys. But then again, emotion will, will, always, uh, will always pump up and the people will start you know, emotionally reacting to things. You know, if I had view this second audio and for no use emotion react the first time I see that first audio and for really think critically before I talk but for me well we are all you cannot be your own subjection and tell me how you think it's going to window hmm? but 